Before I begin, I would like to say that most of my audience isn't subscribed, so feel free to hit that subscribe button, as well as the like button and the notification bell for updates to the channel for new videos and community posts. Enjoy the video! What's going on YouTube? It's me, Jeffrey Samberski again, and today we're going to do a review, but this is like an action figure review that is Jack-specific Sonic related, and today we're going to review something that I've actually wanted from my collection, and it is the Jack-specific Super Sonic, because I need Super Sonic for the collection, and now I've got one technically. But this is like the metallic version that comes with the metallic tails and knuckles because it's team. It's the Team Sonic collection. Um, this is obviously a homage to Sonic Heroes right here. And um, I'm going to review all three. Like, And I'll also compare to the original tails and knuckles to understand the difference. But the Super Sonic, I'll, I'll do a special part of and this is one of those things i really want in my life so so let's not waste any more time let's get to this review now spoiler alert this is actually the first time i got a song figure not from walmart or amazon this actually i had to get from uh, ebay because one these this three pack specifically was available at target like at local Target stores for a time, like, of uh, last year in 2023. But I, I seen it in person, but I never had the opportunity to get it. So I looked around eBay, found a really good deal for, like, 15 or $20 for this, which is actually a good, really good steal of a price right here because this could go for value, like, in the future if Jax was to ever lose the license, but... So far, I don't see that happening. So, enough of that rambling. Let's get to the uh, the box before I, I unbox and review the characters. On the box, it is the... Uh, it says Sonic the Hedgehog. You can see Sonic running through the giant ring. Three figures included. Um, Team Sonic Collection got Tails, Super Sonic, and Knuckles. Um, the side has uh, all three of them, you know, showing off like Ray to fight, you know, Metal Sonic and Sonic Heroes, which is a pretty nice game. Same pictures, but with names. Um, this was released around the time when, like, the wave with Classic Sonic, Tails, Super Silver, and Jet the Hawk were recently released. I still got to get Jet and Super Silver. And maybe a few of these Tails with the, rota the alternate Tails, because... Why not? I want to have a variant of Tails that isn't just, like, with the Tails upright like that. Um, top says Sonic the Hedgehog. It's upside down, but it's trademarked. Um, same thing on here. Jack specific. And let me cut the camera so we can get to unboxing this thing. Okay, so getting them out of the box was relatively simple. But before we get to the figures, the, the backdrop, it's just this blue. It's not really that appealing, but... So, getting to the, um, to the characters, let's start off with, um, let's start off with Tails, because, you know, save Super Sonic for last. Um, Tails is, you know, it's the same as that Tails over there, except it's just, you know, with the shinier metallic finish, um, which, it gives me Super Tails vibes from, like, Sonic 2 and Sonic 3. Like, for the Genesis, um, but modernized. Um, same articulation as always, just shiny paint job on the head, body, arms, legs, and tails. Shoes and hands are the same as regular, and that's pretty much it. Um, yeah, tails are still upwards like that. Like that one, um, I have to keep them to the side to make them stand. Articulation's good, sculpt's good, everything's good, um... Because of the the shine on this one, the joints are a little more tighter. If you're, like, moving them up upwards like that, they're a little tighter. So, that's a heads up. But nothing 
about it has changed just besides a shine. Like that's why it make it it looks a lot more shiny and glossier now because of that special gloss finish on it. But that's pretty much it with tails. Um, knuckles is the same as tails on this one because like it's not like the main red one over there, which I'll compare those two with these guys right here just to give you a reference, but. This is based on the uh, original Knuckles from Wave 2, which also had Metal Sonic in it. Um, gloves are normal and so are the shoes, but the only ch change is just the metallic shine on, you know, Knuckles, which is like, I don't know if the camera could pick that up, but you could see all the sparkles, of the glitter and the gloss finish. It's like a, you could see sparkles, yes, you could see sparkles, but it's, it's very hard to detect on camera, but you could see it in person. It looks really nice. Um, yeah, it's kind of meant to... Re this is meant to reference the final face-off against Metal Sonic and Sonic Heroes because Super Sonic's with Tails and Knuckles. So, articulation is the same as the Knuckles from Wave 2, which is the first version. That's the uh, re-release over there. Um, same articulation, just tighter joints, and that's... That's pretty much it, but the tail seems to be a little bit bent, a little too downward because of the packaging. Like, I can't fix that, so it's going to stay like that. Um, yeah. And, uh, that's it for him. So, Super Sonic is where the main attention is going to go to because, um, I needed a modern Super Sonic because I do, I have classic Super Sonic, which I recently acquired. But I wanted to get a modern Super Sonic, and I could not get the chance to get him when I saw him in Walmart. Even though I did see him in person, but it was not like this metallic version. It was just the uh, the regular one where it's, all the colors are all flat and not metallic. -y. Um, shoes are regular, like you know, Sonics as well as the hands. Um, I think the hands are based upon uh probably Wave One Sonic. Um. The body is just yellow, the yellow version of the modern song, just, you know, yellow, you know, it's, it's yellow, and, you know, the body's got the, uh, metallic shine, so is the arms. The articulation's also a bit tight, so I'm just gonna, like, do with swivels, but he's got all the same articulation. And the reason why it's probably stiff is because that the shine is also on the, uh, the, the little joint hinge things, so I don't want to risk breaking that, because this might become pretty valuable. So the head, however, is an entirely new sculpt where instead of smiling on this side, it's more of a serious expression on this side. And the overall shape is like, it's it's got the spines focused upward. Like it's like, like that. Because it's like meant to be like the Sonic the Hedgehog reference of the Super Saiyans from Dragon Ball Z which I'm pretty sure is what inspired these hedgehogs to go supers because probably someone was interested in Dragon Ball Z of how the Saiyans went super like that. But instead of like using like raw energy, they use the Chaos Emeralds. Um, yeah, the articulation is the same as Sonic's and that's pretty much it. Um, without third ado, the next thing I'd like to do is a comparison um, I did not bring out a Sonic figure, but I did bring out Tails and Knuckles, just to help you understand the, just to see the difference of what I meant by, like, color of contrast. Like, if you see over here, we got, um, we got the Knuckles that came in this Super Pack with Super Sonic, compared to the uh, regular Knuckles with the regular, you know, coloring, which is like, it's, this is more regular Knuckles Red, well, this is more like a... It looks a little more rose-ish on camera, while Tails, it's, it looks relatively the same. This one's just more shinier, and that's it. Like, um, and I guess, like, the Super Sonic regular would just be this, just more flat. Like, no metallic shine, and that's pretty, and that's pretty much it. So, well... The next thing I want to say is these guys, this is a three pack, which means they don't come with a accessory. And the only warning I would want to 
give advise you if you were to buy this is to be aware of how the joints are especially on the arms and the legs are like extremely tight like they're tight like the oh french toast they are they are tight where they um they're good at swiveling like this but when it comes to moving them outward like those guys it's not as easy because the how the shine is actually you know put on the these joint hinges right here so i best be careful so you don't snap those well thankfully these guys have not snapped on me and that's good i just want to advise that to you guys and and speaking of which there is another reason why i need this supersonic here and as i do the finger snap is because i got these these accurately scaled chaos emeralds to go with them now, the Chaos Emeralds are obviously from Creatology. They are part of the A Sword Shapes, you know, gem set, which, you know, come with other colors, but that'll be a review for another day. But as you can see, they scale perfect with these figurines of this scale. And I think that is an absolute W for Jack specific and Creatology. Like, Creatology did the absolute W by making perfectly scaled chaos emeralds for this and Jax did a w for making supersonic and these guys compatible with this like they, they can actually hold them like i'll just give an example with knuckles right here if you like 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 look at that it, he they can hold it that is an absolute win all right so enough of that side um this is the review of the Jack specific super three pack of Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles. Um, this is a different like setup. This is just a nightstand next to my bed. Not the review table that I use, but it's just an experiment because it's easier to review. I didn't feel like getting the stand the retaining stand out, so feel free to like, comment, share, subscribe. Um Stay tuned for more reviews and more videos. This is Jeffrey Sembersky signing out. And now, I'm going to let these guys fight Metal Sonic.